All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duels. So today is Wednesday. We're playing them Earthbound Monarchs, and hopefully we summon some Earthbound Immortals in this duel. And that's definitely what I want to see, some Earthbound Immortal action up in here. Because uh, last, last time this was on Daily Duels, uh, last Wednesday, it was kind of lacking on the Earthbound Immortal part. I mean, the plays, of course, the Monarch plays are strong. It's freaking Monarchs, but, uh, you know, it's just, it really, it still feels like Monarchs, I mean, Earthbound just splashed in with, uh, with, uh, Earthbound splashing with monarchs, and I'm not the biggest fan, you know. I'm not gonna say, I mean, hey, I'd, there's another uh, version of the deck I would probably like to play, definitely. Uh, and version you probably like to say, you know, please, uh, clee, clee, clee. I mean, uh, the polls are going up. We have two more weeks. We have this episode and the next episode. The polls should be up next week. You guys, go ahead and suggest the decks. But if you guys want to, I mean, just saying, if you guys want to go ahead and suggest, like, clees with monarch support, I think we could do something next. Of course, as you guys know, clees do have monarch stats. So I can play Tenacity and all that. They have, Cleese have more synergy than Monarchs than Earthbound when it comes to stuff. We're just literally just using the Monarch S cards to uh, to suit the plays of uh, Earthbound Immortals. You know, it's just fueling me, just playing cards like Idea and stuff like that. So uh, awesome. I mean, we're, we're we're looking good. We finally got an Earthbound Immortal. Uh, hopefully his background won't fuck me up too bad, and we'll be able to. Uh, Go ahead and actually summon an Earthbound Immortal, because that would be that would be just fantastic if we can go ahead and actually summon one. So, uh, and then if shit hits the fan, especially with Idea, because Idea generally is the one that hits the fan. Uh, we still have the Monarch Stormforth and the Idos I Idos for next turn. So, summon Monarch Stormforth, bam, there's our fan one. So we're gonna go ahead and deal three uh, marches. So, uh, this is like an intermediate <laughs> intermediatory period for me. Uh, I'm in. In between watching shows on TV, I don't watch TV that often, but I was like, it's TV time, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's quiet in here. I had the house all to myself, so a uh, wild party at uh, my house. <laughs> but no, it, it's, it's actually really, really quiet in here. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my charge. Should be fine. Some an idea. Uh, we're obviously going against the Dynamis, which is uh, I mean, a very powerful fairly powerful deck. I mean, it's a pedro based deck, right? Uh, we get the additional summon, which is great. So we'll go ahead and uh, activate that Dominion. Hopefully don't get wrecked by Twin Twister, and then we're actually going to summon a motherfucking Earthbound Immortal. I bet my opponent's like, say, what? <laughs> so we'll go ahead and activate the Heavenly Squire, get my back my Pan Deity, which is always great. You know, grabbing uh, the Monarch plays, like I said, they're very strong. Very, very strong. So we're gonna go ahead and just poke you with uh, the fishy fish, the Chaku Chalhua. Uh, I probably butchered that, but that's pretty good. Lock him out of the extra deck. You can't touch me. That's pretty good. I'm um, kind of want to activate Pandiety again, and maybe draw into like another march just in case. No, no. all right. Well, I can always summon this. Uh, we have a lot of darks in here, so. I was like, fuck it, Allure. I'm I was trying to bait. It's Allure is like literally the last card in there because we have some darts. I'm kind of worried about dead drawing a whole bunch of Earthbound Immortals. We're number draining the shit out of them. So literally one, one. So, and uh, hopefully everything goes okay. You know, because I know Dino missed. I think I need for him to do is go off, pop all my shit, make an infinity, and do all the shit. Oh, well, he can't go in the extra deck, which is nice. So, but I definitely know he can. He can beat over me. Oh, he can't attack me. Like, oh, that, that works. So I was like, you can beat over me. You can't attack me. All right, Earth Bounds, Earth Bounds. Yep, yep. <laughs> so I'm in between watching the Powerpuff Girls and Ink Master. You probably love Powerpuff Girls. Look, look, look. Powerpuff Girls, I'm a 90s kid. That Powerpuff Girls, they were one of the Legendary 8, and now they got that reboot. Show's pretty good. So it, it's not it's not great. It's it. If I could, if you ask me, like, hey, what do you think about the new Powerpuff Girls? I'd be like, it's the Teen Titans Go Powerpuff Girls. It's a sketch comedy reboot kind of make, but is it the original show? Not really, but I don't know. It's been a while since I've actually seen Powerpuff Girls, so I really can't say. Like, I'm a Powerpuff Girl expert, but I, I watched the show in, in my times, back when I was a young boy. <laughs> so he's going to go ahead and summon his uh, plus. Is that, what, is that a normal summon? Well, you can't attack me. All right, he's going to go play Rush, and I guess he's just going to jump me with Dino Miss card, so... I'm still 23, you still can't attack me. Wait, you can attack me? How can you attack me? I'm so lost. Oh, uh, I'm gonna be one time to your opponent cannot select this card as an attack target. 
So how the fuck are you selecting me as an attack target? I'm so lost. Is there something that's making it so... Like, it's shit unaffected by my shit or something? Oh, it's unaffected by... with the trap card. Yep, 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 yep. He actually killed my Earthbound Immortal. No! <laughs> it's... Uh... Ah, oh, that's strong. It's so fucking strong. I was like, I was like, I was like, what? Like, like, yeah, yeah. So, because he summoned it with Rush, which makes his Dynamis unaffected by other card effects, that means it's unaffected by my, uh, my monster. So, that, that was, that was pretty choice. That really was. Like, I have nothing to say to that. <laughs> nothing. And he got rid of my March, which kind of sucks, because I love to not be touched. But, nope. <laughs> so, I guess I can go ahead and summon Prime. Prime will be pretty decent. I can Monarch Storm forth and get rid of this and summon and, you know, do that. Because I will have at least another Earthbound. And then, these guys will be an extra deck, which he can't summon back. So, that would be great. So, we'll go ahead and just do that. that. Then, I guess I'll go ahead and do Panditi reveal two, no, all three marches. Duh, he shuffled it back, he shuffled it back. So I can reveal all three marches, which would just be fantastic, because then I'm going to get my march back. Like, freaking dick shuffling my march away. What the fuck's wrong with you? What the fuck's wrong with you? I'm going to show you three marches, and you're going to give me a march. Like, <laughs> like, we're marching on this. Go ahead and activate march. Then I can go ahead and play... Monarch Storm 4th, Tribute Your Monster, and then attack you directly with uh, 28. So that's pretty good. And then he won't be able to Pendulum Summon the monsters out of his extra deck. So, your monster, my monster, bam. Alright, but he gets his shit back to his hand. Well, he'll get that dinosaur back to his hand. Alright, and now I'm with the. Uh, I, can, I, I was a 29 beater last time to say now I'm a 28 beater, but the 29 beater. Well, at least this time, if he kills me, I'm wiping everything. Like, right? Like, blah, 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 blah. when this card is destroyed. Oh, by a card effect. Ugh. Except I don't destroy all cards on the field. I seriously doubt he'll be destroying me by a card effect. He'll probably just be running me over by battle again, so. That's not the greatest of plays, but uh, right now, we're, we're, we're fine. We're fine. Just, uh,. In between shows, <laughs> I was like, I was like, what am I gonna do? Like, I've already seen this episode of Ink Master. I watched my 15 minutes of the new Powerpuff Girls. I was like, what am I gonna do? I was like, fuck it, get on the computer, record daily duel. Like, I probably record it on the day of Wednesday, wake up early. But I was like, screw it, you know. I like to be a day ahead and all that. Car is still fucked. Mom, mom wants to fuck me. Uh, and that sounds wrong. That sounds hella wrong. You're like, what the fuck? That sounds Daniel. All right, let me explain. The car is not 100%. No, not even close. We spent over $1,000 working on it, putting pieces on it, and putting just chain. And no, it's still not 100%. It starts. At least it starts. It starts. But with that, with it actually, with it starting, okay, I would say, do you have another rush? Because you, you can't attack me. You can't touch me, which is fine. You can't summon from the extra deck. But if you have another rush, I mean, fuck me up again. I, it looks like you're going to this turn. And it looks like I maybe win? Maybe. Maybe. Oh, damn, another Earthbound Immortal. Well, I can only have one Earthbound Immortal on the field, so that sucks. <laughs> that sucks. I guess I can just go ahead and poke him directly, but yeah. I can only be one face-up Earthbound Immortal. So I can go ahead and set this and then flip it up next turn, but, I mean, it would be the same end result. I guess this one's this is a little bit stronger than this. So if I tribute this for this, I think this would be just a little bit stronger. So let me, let me find out. So I'm going to go ahead and... Summon Eidos, who will give me an additional normal summon. Tribute you two for uh, Udu, and then I think Udu will be stronger. Hmm. Okay, well that sucks. Kinda needed that additional summon. <laughs> that sucks. The gay my Eidos. That that's that's gay. <laughs> That's, 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 mm, I don't like you. <laughs> I was like, I was like, give me that additional summon so I can get this tribute for Udu. Like, no, no. Like, nah, fine, I'll just fucking poke you directly for 22. You freaking dick. <laughs> if Forbidden Chalice fucking me up again, just like on Monday, boys. <laughs> if I pray for Forbidden Chalice, this guy fucking me up, this guy. So that sucked. I gave him a clear cut card to kill with fucking, uh, uh, his dino. 
Holy crap. <laughs> Yep. Oh, that's a nice chunk of damage, and I think Rex Effect, he can like... Is this the one that spins? That tributes to... Spin. Wait, I can't... Oh, that, I guess that doesn't target. I guess that doesn't target, because I got spun hella fast. Shuffle one card from here at random or in the field. But, yep, that does not target, so I got fucked. <laughs> I got hella fucked. <laughs> I was like, "Oh, you can't touch my fucking uh, uh, shit. You can't, you can't touch me." Yeah, he can because he can just go ahead and shuffle me back without targeting. Like this man is finding every fucking loophole to handle my goddamn Earthbound Memorial. This is fucking annoying. Like, this is goddamn motherfucking annoying. Like if this is another fucking Forbidden Chalice, then I'm just fucked. Like that's straight up. I'm just fucked. <laughs> I, I need this. I, I need idea to summon idols and then tribute these two for my Udu and then tack directly for game. Like, and hopefully I get it off. I mean, who's to say that he just won't go and exceed these two? I mean, I don't have a tribute to the monster on the field anymore. Just, God damn it. And I was like, no, he can't touch me. Yes, he can. Oh, uh, no, he can't attack me. Yes, he can. Like, <laughs> this man and his goddamn fucking loopholes. Damn you. But no, seriously. Uh, the car. Not looking too hot. Alright, he's gonna go ahead and make Castell, which is fine. I mean, you spin either one, I could still drop an Earthbound Immortal. Because. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's fine. Oh, it's fine. Ah! Ah! That top deck, though. That top deck, though. March again? Like, shit. How many rounds are you running? Three? You keep putting it back in my damn deck. So. Let's see, another chalice, another one. Let's say, do I got it? It looks like I might have it. Go ahead and tribute you two for my uh, Udu. Go ahead and get me back my Pandeity. Like, ah, ah, the power, the power. You can't touch me, and I'm gonna go ahead and tack directly for game, so. Ah, Earthbound Immortals coming through, people. Coming through in this duel. All you have to do is just number generate the shit out of them so I actually draw them. We went through some serious Earthbound Immortals in this duel, but it was a good duel. Alright, we'll go ahead and get another one, bareback. So, with the car being kind of... Like I said, it's just... Uh, it's really hard to describe how the car is. It really is. <laughs> it, it, like... Hmm, how can I describe it? How can I describe it? It'll start, it'll start, but then it won't like accelerate, it's like and like you're holding down the gas, it won't accelerate, it'll randomly turn off, it'll turn back on, but it'll turn off. It's it's not in the, it's not in perfect condition to be driving, not at all, like obviously, not at fucking all. But with that said, uh, it's still some bullshittery, um, my mom, uh, was like, hey, go ahead, drive the car, pick me up, she literally works, like, I'd say not even a block away, like, she lives, I mean, she works really close. Like, you could walk, but she doesn't want to walk. She'd rather me risk my fucking neck trying to drive this broken-ass car than fucking, uh... I don't, I, I don't want it to be Monarchs. It's just, you know, I didn't get any Earthbound Immortals. I understand it's a pain, but, you know, I didn't... I'm sorry I didn't get any Earthbound Immortals, so... Yeah. <laughs> Probably wouldn't have been nice to do that play earlier, but it's fine. So I can do uh, idea to get back my Pendidi, but this this way is also fine. So I'm gonna reveal three marches. I'm gonna get me a march, and then I'm pretty much gonna be like, hey, uh, don't touch me. I'm gonna lock you out of the extra deck. I'm gonna make my mana pretty much untouchable unless you have some kind of uh, popping effect. Well, I guess you could attack over me. Yeah, you can attack over me. I'm 28 beater. Out of cupidity and then drop that some that monster. Oh yeah, that's definitely a way to tack over me. Like holy shit, I've been seeing a lot of this lately. Just out of cupidity, mill the top ten, and then summon that fucking uh, what's his name? Fucking um, I forgot his name, but the one that gains four hundred for each bench card, summoning the four thousand beater. It's like that's fucking crazy, but hey, <laughs> like what can you say, right? What can you fucking say? Uh, got that Vandy's, uh, we put that in just to lock Pone out of the dueling, pretty much. Just Domain, March, fill out that Vandy's, poke you with a fucking, uh, uh, poke you with a fucking, 
uh, Earthbound Immortal. 80 Survivor? 80 Survivor? I, I don't I said DDD Survivor. DD Survivor. No, that's DDD, man. <laughs> DDD, boys. <laughs> In all seriousness, I was like, I was like, what, what, what are you doing, Survivor? Well, face up. Well, he's been a face up. <laughs> On your side of the field. It's not even like Scout or anything like that. Like, okay. Banish of the Radiance. Like, okay. Like, I guess you're just playing some Banish deck that's running Potted Cupidity and stuff like that. Like, okay. Kinda hurts. It really does. It kinda hurts that, uh, we're in this situation now. But, uh, like I said, I believe we can summon Banish Ido, summon Idea. Idea will summon. I think I'd rather go ahead and kill before the Twin Twister pop these two, send Pant no, cause Banisher. Kinda... Yeah, I'm gonna have to kill the Banisher. The Banisher is getting in my way. It really is. I, I really like my graveyard, and uh, I like to have control of it. And you freaking summoning that Banisher kinda hurts there. Safe zone? Safe zone? Nah, no. 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 Get rid of both of them. You know, try, try to be cute and sit behind your fucking safe zone and shit like that. Like, no thank you. I mean, all that shit got vanished, so that sucks, but... So that's gone. And Nash changed second. Mm. So, I guess I'll just wait till next turn. There's really no reason to summon an Earth down motor right now. Next turn I can. Next turn I definitely can. Just banish, summon, summon, tribute, summon... Tack, tack. No. Cause that was that. Right, that's just dirty, sir. That's just dirty. I did not approve of that. At least now I can get my Pendidis back with, uh, with, uh, with idea. Uh, banish Ido, summon idea. Idea, summon back. Edo slight. I never realized how important Edo is until I actually played like a modern based deck. I, personally, I think Ido should be at 30, because, yeah, oh shit, he's just so fucking good. <laughs> Especially with the level 8 Monarchs, like, even if it's fucking just have summon Idols, get an additional tribute, summon Monarchs on Force, tribute your shit, my Idols to our, uh, a Reverse or uh, Ether, like, just, yes. <laughs> All the yes. So yes, we summon the powerful Uru. <laughs> uh, that's not game, but, uh, wait. I think that might be game. I have a normal summon this turn. Oh, yeah, I have. I was like, I have a normal summon this turn. Yeah, yeah, I have a triple summon. I like, I have a normal summon. That was a special summon. Like, no, that was, that was your normal summon. I'm like, all right, fine. I'll play fair. That's not game. <laughs> Battle fucking fader. Can I flip vanities on this? Doesn't that just stop him from summoning? I'm not sure. I guess that's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure if that works like that. If I flip Vanities, he can't step some of the which means that he doesn't block the attack, right? No! No. No. Hold on, let me read it. Only the guys that attack, you special on the battle phase. Then end the battle phase. Yeah, I think, I think he just wouldn't be able to summon it, he would take it. And I was kind of worried that it was kind of been like Ghost Tricks where I flip that Vanities and then he could just keep on blocking without summoning infinitely for the rest of the duel. That would suck. That would suck hell of a dick, so at least it's not that. <laughs> And uh, right now, I mean, we got the Monarch, we got the Earthbound, we got some fucking power, we're locking you out of the extra deck, you can't touch us, like, we, we just have some fucking power right now. I kind of want to just flip up the Vanities now, go ahead and get you to pay costs, okay. And then we'll flip up the Vanities, we'll just pretty much say, nah, no, you're not doing shit in this duel, boys, like, holy shit. <laughs> That kind of hurts me, kind of, a little bit with, uh, with, uh, idea, but I think I should be fine to win this duel with fucking Udu and freaking Rebus. Like, holy shit. <laughs> Damn. Another one. Another march. Fuck it. I mean, why not? Just make sure you're not touching me. Oh, he's laughing. He's like, hey, hey. Like, okay, okay. Okay, I see you. I see you. I see you. Yeah, let me get that direct attack in, boys. Hop over. I'm not letting you do flawless. No, you can't hit me with mirror force. March. You can't touch me. Nope. What were you saying? What were you saying? You're not going to let me do this flawless? Because I'm fucking absolutely flawless. I'm like Jaden up in this bitch in their bridge series. <laughs> Just play that song. Like, no. <laughs> I believe that song has third party all fucking over it. <laughs> flawless. 
absolutely fine. No. <laughs> I think it's like five seconds. Sing for five seconds. <laughs> so, uh, what happened to that, uh, you're not gonna allow me to get the Flawless? Because, you know, if uh, Udu gets in one more direct attack. I mean, if you got that DD Dynamite, I mean, blow your load right now. <laughs> but I, I'm, I'm gonna get that Flawless. Absolutely Flawless. Like, GG. Like, not really. I kind of sat the shit at you, but... Hey, oh, there it is. I was like, go ahead and play that DD Dynamite. Like, ow. Ow, two DD Dynamites. Damn! Is it for each of their removing play cards? Yeah, it is. I, th I thought it was all their moving play cards. No, it's each of their moving play cards for your opponent, so I only took 900. I thought it was about to take, like, fucking, like, a butt time. Like, holy shit, I was about to take, what, fucking 36 twice? Like, oh, that would have hurt. <laughs> all right. Anyway, I feel like I got I got time for one more duel. I got like 15 minutes before next Ink Master, so they're back. <laughs> All right, so I gotta be I gotta risk the biscuit and go try to pick up Mom, which is in my opinion fucking just crazy. His hands not that great. <laughs> it really isn't. Like if uh, there's a handful of cards that can make this hand this hand better, a handful of cards, just one. One of those handful of cards, Monarch Stormforth would make it great. Idea would be great. It's a lot of fucking cards to make this hand great, because right now I can't do shit. Not that I wanted to go first anyway. I least stack likes to go second. You know, I'd, I'd gladly go ahead and pitch, you know, like a Rebus to go ahead and pull off my Udu. Like, I, 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 that's probably not the most practical play. Oh, and it's Blue Eyes too? Uh-oh. I'm probably going to get OTK'd. I mean, it's Blue Eyes. 3,000 beaters out the ass. They don't know there's over half my life points right there. Assuming go ahead and send your Ancient Stone. Yep. So there's 45 right there. Then pitch you, target you, send you, summon another blue eyes. That's 6,000 right there. And then uh, maybe like a Silver's Cry or something? No, you don't have a blue eyes in the graveyard yet. Maybe. Like, you're just gonna go ahead and FTK the living shit out of me? Because there you go, it's fucking a nice chunk of my life points right fucking there, people. Holy shit. <laughs> but I guess he's playing Blue Eyes, so he's like, I like to go second. But I'm like, no, I like to go second. <laughs> no, that is shit. <laughs> oh, 6,000. Right there. And another Blue Eyes to come. Man's about to make his Neo Blue Eyes ultimate on my ass. Like, alright. At least I don't have any back row or anything like that, so he can't summon, like, fucking Kai on me and banish my shit, at least. You gonna exceed these two or Yep. Hope, I was thinking that's like hope. Definitely hope. No, yep, there's Kai. Alright, well. I'm gonna go ahead and risk the biscuit, so I'm actually chicken game, is that okay? I mean to you it should probably be fine. I mean unless you want to negate that with hope, in which case then that's game, because I died in nothing of well at all. And holy shit, I have to play the chicken game just to fucking draw into something. And then, uh, nine times in ten, I'm gonna activate a spell card that's still gonna- Oh, wow. Well, alright, that's game. That's game. Chicken game to chicken game when I only have fucking a thousand life points left. Like, alright, thank you. Thank you, fucking- Thank you, fucking, uh, uh Pro. Thank you. We're right back. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I was like, I was like, I'm fucked either way, but can I at least get some good shit? Like, nah. Once again, this hand is not great. If there's a couple things that can make it great, and the, and it's not I'm missing one card. Once again, one fucking card to make my plays there. And then I would say, well, at least you're gonna give me some life points, and maybe if you don't kick my shit in, then I can play fucking uh, uh, upstart. It's more of a second, more of a kinda, more of a second turn back. Kinda, like I said, I would like to show you that it's not Monarchs and actually Earthbound, but never mind, it's Fluffles, which means that I'm probably gonna get a TK. Like, <laughs> like I'm gonna get wolfed. I'm gonna get my fucking shit torn up. Like, <laughs> Emily, have mercy on me. <laughs> no, Emily, don't destroy me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why? Why does why does everybody make me go fucking first and then proceed to kick my shit in? Like what the fuck is going on? <laughs> fucking blue eyes, fucking fluffles, like god damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god. <laughs> hella resources. Hella plays. Like, that's game. That's game. If, if Emily can't kill me this fucking turn, then I don't know what the fuck is going on with Emily. Emily, end this duel. Like, holy shit. You're literally already down through 15 fucking cards in your deck. Like, what in the fuck? Like, wow. Fucking brilliant fusion with the fucking send the wings. Like, I, I was like, I was thinking, I was like, when did wings get in the graveyard? I don't remember her ever... Or him, or just person Emily in general sending that. Wings is light, so... Yep, go ahead. Go to town on my ass. You know, I, it's more of a going second kind of deck, but how about I never get a second? <laughs> Twice! Like, holy shit. Just go ahead and wrap this duel up, Emily. Go ahead and make fucking Wolf attack me fucking four times, and... Well, five times, because you gave me the upstart, but... God damn it. <laughs> Why'd you go into sheep? Like, you could've wrapped this duel up. Oh, never mind, because you got Chain, who will get you your search for your Miracle Fusion, and then you could still get, you get your Polly back. Like, I'm dead. I'm, I'm fucking dead. Like, if anybody thinks that, oh, you got you got this, here, then, you know, no, I'm dead. Like, if Emily's gonna play this deck even half decent, I'm fucking dead. <laughs> and you know what? That's fine. That's fine. It's, it's Ink Master time anyway. <laughs> no more intermission. I'm getting my shit pushed in during the intermission. <laughs> Makes you want to cry, man. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Banish all of that for Wolf. Yep. 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 GG! GG! I did nothing! <laughs> you know what I'm playing? GG! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, I was like, after the first two duels, I was like, Shh. Uh, sure. Sure. <laughs> Sure, sure, GG! Sure, yeah, 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 don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> GG! Good game! I did nothing! I played nothing, I did nothing, and I got my shit pushed in. No, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not the first time that I got my shit pushed in, like... It's ridiculous. Oh my god, I was like, the first two duels, like, oh, this is going great, we're right, doing the earth down play, this is awesome. Next two duels, fucking just garbage, <laughs> I get, I open up shit, make me go fucking first when I would rather go second, and get my shit pushed in. Twice, like, oh my god. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Daily Duels, so, of course, uh... Uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow with some more daily duels. We'll be uh, tagging using them resonators joined by Depends it might be a new person. We might see we might have seen if not then The usual we'll find out but uh, you know like I said the deck it's fine It's just like when you open up like shit like this. It's just like so many cards like just one card right idea great Fucking Monarch Stormforth, great. Like there's so many fucking cards that can make this and these like, be able to drop a fucking uh, Earth Down one at all, and that would be great, especially with Domain, like, drop the Domain, I mean, what, what, what would you, what, what would Emily would have done? What would Emily would have done? <laughs> or Lachia, that actually, that could have been fantastic, but nah, just, uh, like, wow, all I needed was something, and I got nothing. It's fine, though, it's fine. Iados is really important, though. Both of them, both of them. Uh, anyway, I'm done, I'm done. Uh, thanks for watching, see you guys tomorrow.